You are now tuned in to the To Be Told podcast. need to calm down. Super cats, Republicans, y'all need to just... Well, that was the one thing I, I, I gave. I gave credit to, uh, you know, the right wing for being right about one thing. When they said at the beginning, they were like, the left is hysterical. I was like, yes, we are. We're full, the left, full hysterical. I'm on the left, and I think mm-hmm. we're hysterical. I think we're People complaining to the refs. Right. On we, every call. I got and, everything. And we need to just play defense and get some steals <laughs> and some stops and get back in this game. It sounds right. It sounds <laughs> a little familiar. <laughs> play yeah. to the yeah, refs. Yeah, Okay, this we got fouled. I got fouled. Meanwhile, they're just get back dunking, on defense. They're bro. dunking on us because <laughs> we're back. just screaming at the refs. That is a great way of describing it that I never thought. I think what made me more mad is that he was like, "Oh, that's a great way of describing," and I'm like, "That's my description." <laughs> God damn! But it don't matter, you know. So when we when I tell you that we got plays from New York, do you believe me now on people that's listening? <laughs> nah, I don't. But I guess the good thing California is California is one of our biggest, right? One of our biggest areas. Man. Right, right, right. That was that was that was Peter Rosenberg uh, of Hot ninety seven. That was uh, I took that, that was, from his podcast, uh, Juan Epstein. He had Chris Rock on there. They were having a conversation about just uh, just just people going out of control. Just sometimes just. Complain about everything, things mm-hmm. like that. Of course, they, they they think it is validated to complain, but they were just like, "Hey, look, you know, hey, hey, that was a bad call, but we still gotta get back on defense. We still got a game to play." Yeah. And and, um, and and if you listen to, I won't say the last, no, the episode before last. Mm-hmm. I asked, which uh, episode was that one? That uh, was on May what? That was was to uh, Juan Epstein. Yeah, the, uh, that episode. That was May third when they when they put that out, but our episode. Let's see, uh, it, it's it's that was episode. True, that was early. That was Tony Dark. That was Tony. That was our Tony Dark episode. It was Tony Dark. Yeah. So I sworn you used that in the earlier episode. I used it, but I used it before. I mm-hmm. used it a few times. Um, I used it a few times actually. Yeah, so we probably use it as early as. Let me see. Without playing, oh, oh, this doesn't play. Which probably uh, as early as probably as early as April. Uh, which episode was probably that? I'm saying that because uh, Harley B. And uh, Har- with Harley, I was uh, I used the uh, whole the the no, I was a track metaphor. Yeah, I think you might have used it with, with Phase Owen. One. Mm, no, that you sure it wasn't with O O and E. I was off air. That was off air. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Uh, well, well, nevertheless, yeah, nevertheless, nevertheless. I believe people are tuning in to the To Be Told podcast. No, no, not at all. I ah, guy, this guy. No, 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 no. Well, I ever the modest one. I think uh, I just wanted to play that just to show that we, we are in tune with the culture, whether it's hip hop, whether it's just a philosophical thought, mm-hmm. uh, whatever it is. We, we're, we're on pace. We're on par with, with what's going on in the world. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, now, let's, and, and it let's, wasn't just one example. It's been many, but that was one I could just pull just now. There's a couple other ones, and we'll probably hear more. Let's do this show as due diligence, brother. Is your phones on mute? Let me check real quick because, you know, sometimes I say it is and it is, it is on mute. And mine's are now Awesome, officially. awesome Alright, I am Corey Terry This is Elliot Gidry And you're now tuned into the To Be Told podcast To Be Told is what's happening Elliot, what is happening? Man, what is happening right now? Yeah, what's going on? What's going down? I need a shave Yeah? You got that? <laughs> well, you, you beard, I see you trying to get the little, the little bit, the beard a little thicker, a little higher Yeah, yeah, I had, um, went to the barber, of course, you yeah. know, he tried to Give me the pretty boy look, which yeah. you know. Well, let me let me ask you this: When do you think the timeline for beards is gone? Because when I was coming up, it was goatees. No, because before let's go back. Let's go back before. I'm gonna go back my my pops day, right? Mm-hmm. Because I think there was a time, especially when Malcolm X was around, right. it was the goatee. Yeah, what? Then it, then it then it moved. It transitioned into the caterpillar mustache, the big ass Isley Hay, Isaac Hayes, <laughs> the you know the spinners mustache. Right. Then it went to. Uh, you know, there's a point I don't know. Someone probably could fill us in when if they're listening on like Twitter or something like that. But then it then it went to the goatee. It, goatee came back when I was in like high school. Yeah, like, and it had to connect. Mm-hmm. You remember? I don't know if y'all remember that. It had the, the the mustache and the beard had to connect on the side. That was back in the day, the Shamar Moore days. Light skin dudes was winning. Light skin dudes with like you know some other mix. The, uh, and then after that became the chin strap. The chin. Oh, that was horrible time. That was bad. Oh, that was horrible. The chin strap. 
I used to rock the chin strap heavy. Everybody, yeah, everybody, you're right. Everybody watching the 50 Cent still try to be doing the chin strap. He does, but it, well, and see, when he started it, it was yeah. he was younger, so he kind of looked a little yeah, light. Yeah, that's just horrible. But now, it, because his beard is thick, and, and it's, it's and it's weird. just tough, and it's just tough to to line up a uh, chin strap beard. Yeah, it's, got to be perfect. And that's mainly the reason why I'm trying to grow it back yeah. in. Right. You know, at his at natural line. Right, right, right. Is when, did, when did the beer come? When did the beer come in? Because you got to think I'm, I'm, you know, the Delo, you know, Delaware, Philadelphia market. Mm-hmm. So that that was even when it wasn't in that whole Aki beer, that Muslim beer was always around. Right. When did it? When did it become like a thing to do? Yeah, like everybody was doing it. Uh, I mean, I, I want to blame Ross. Yeah. No, you know what? I think you might be. You might have hit it right, hit it right on there. Yeah, Ross. Yeah, I, I think it could blame Ross because he, yeah, he owned it. Yeah, well, and and I mean that was just his thing. Shades in the beard. Yeah, right. That was it. Uh, yeah, and then I mean it so, slowly started progressing mm-hmm. from there. So and Joe Joe Button he got the he got the high joint that shit go right under his eyelid and shit. <laughs> I don't trust I don't trust niggas with perfect beards around this my guy. around my girlfriend. You know I used to have a friend that um well he's he's still a good friend of mine. So, um, shout out to my boy Jody, but he said he mm-hmm. never trusted a man without any facial hair. Without facial hair? Yeah. Yeah, they look like they do like serial killer. Serial killers are like like pedophiles. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. pedophiles definitely, definitely. Serial killers, pedophiles, yeah, for sure, for sure. But the crazy thing is, um, if you ever notice, like most of our political figures don't have facial hair. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's no. It's it's not the. It it looks the ones that look like you ever seen someone that has a beard all the time, then they shave it off and you see them the next day. And it's like weird. That's shit. a pedophile look, right? Like mm-hmm. Barack never had facial hair, but he never looked like a pedophile. He never looked like he always looked like I mean, it was but, supposed but he, to be like. Yeah, that. he looked like. I don't know. I I don't even think Barack grows a beard. Like I can watch. We'll see. We'll see soon. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna see real soon. Michelle gonna be like, grow that beard, baby. He stop giving all fucks. He's gonna grow to li- at least a goatee. I don't think he get. Well, do you think he gives a fuck right now? You're not president no more. You can't run again. No, yeah. I mean, I, mean I, I think that he still realizes he's looked at as a president because of, you know, the guy that we have in there is. You could look like anything now. Be good. <laughs> well, not not trying to go to Trump. I try, I'm trying my best to avoid that. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, you know, everybody he, listening he, should know what's going on. He just had his foreign tour. <laughs> Yeah. But I, so so okay. Yeah, so yeah. outside of the politics of it, yeah. you know, the craziest thing about Trump and mm-hmm. his foreign tour was how he <laughs> addresses, uh, you know, all these other ambassadors mm-hmm. or you know presidents or whatnot right. with this crazy ass handshake. Yeah. Uh, you ever seen like any the dominant sh- the yeah. dominant handshake? Yeah, yeah. And that's just from like these do- these dominating books, which is silly. Yeah. So the way he does this shit is Power like books. it's like he's literally trying to rip your arm out of its socket mm-hmm. or not let let it go. It's a power move. It throws you off because you're kind of wiggling your foot. Right. Your footing's not there. He's probably getting. He's probably positioning himself to where he wants to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like that. <laughs> uh, I can't think of what who he moved out the way to get in front. Of. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, so much. I, shit. It was. It was somebody. The first handshake. The first awkward handshake he gave that was like known. Right. Um. I. It's not North Korea. Mm-hmm. Uh. It was one of. The, it was one of the uh, prime ministers or ambassadors. I can't remember who it was. I, I'll look it up. Right. But uh, he gave him this crazy ass handshake, and you can tell this guy really wasn't used to this. Long, right. Right. Long drawn this out. Four, handshake. Forty-eight laws of power handshake. Yeah, and and Trump kept patting his hand like it's gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do so much great things. Yeah, and just patting his hand. That was, was a good. Trump was a good Trump impression. Was it? Mm-hmm. It was just it just came out of nowhere. Anyways, um, oh, some of the best. So come so from when nowhere. when he let go of his hand, right? The guy was just like, just gave like this ah fuck that look, it like, was, it like. Was, fuck that. Like like fuck that. Like don't shake my hand like that no more. Fuck that. Like, I look stupid. Yeah. Like like. Shit! This man squeezed the hell out of my hand. Kind of look, uh, you know. And and, and, but, just, and and if you've seen the way he kind of backed into the chair, it right. was like ugh, he just felt uncomfortable. Yeah, he belittled him. I think he did what he wanted to do. And the thing is, the people that he's doing that for, they eat it up too. Look, look how strong he appears. What? It's like, dude, come on. You see what he's doing? He's just doing a, something that he read in a book or something and, that and, and someone and got him. And the crazy shit is, is, they mm-hmm. love that shit. They think mm-hmm. that you know he's going out there. He's he's representing America. He's you know. Mm-hmm. Showing his dominance and like, dude, no, you really yeah, all, like a jackass. And I do want to, I do want to, I do want to acknowledge this though. I don't. All Trump supporters aren't racist. And no, 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 they, they, they aren't. It's it's some motherfuckers that you work with that you love 
that voted for this man are still rooting for this man. I mean, at the end of the day, we all have to kind of root for him because we need him to do a good job. He's in that position to where well, we don't want to we don't want to root for him to get done what he's saying he's trying to do. We root want, for him I, to I come him, to the light, which is probably not going to happen. I, I'm rooting for him to do what's best for the American people. Right. That's and and that's how I base a successful president on right. how much he put his people in front of the things and you know. The things mm-hmm. that he's trying to do. And unfortunately, what I believe and what I see, what Trump is doing, he's putting in place things that are going to help him. You know, I, I judge I judge my presidents. I don't put a whole lot of I judge my presidents like I judge Trent Dilfer when he was the quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens. Do tell. That's, that's a sports reference you probably don't recognize. But <laughs> if you ever go back, most people that are listening now that understand sports, they do know that the Baltimore Ravens were was a the defensive minded team. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, defense wins championships, blah, blah, blah. That's not always true, but in this case, it was. They had a quarterback. They didn't expect much. It was basically like they, they called him a, 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 a game manager who's a quarterback. They called him a game manager. Basically, what that means is uh, don't fuck up. Right. Right. Just don't fuck up. Don't throw, no inter- don't throw any interceptions. Don't turn the ball over. Just just get first downs. Uh, you know, maybe keep him in good field position, that kind of thing. Just don't just don't fuck up. Pretty and, much. And that's, all, that's how I look at presidents. I don't look like what even when – I voted for Barack. I didn't think he was going to, you know, give us forty acres and a mule. Yeah, I didn't think anything I, and, like that. And, and of course, you, in in the right sense of mind, you had to know that that wasn't going to happen. He wasn't going to go in there and say reparations for all black people. And but there know. were people. It's funny because and we talked about this before. There's yeah. people on both ends of the spectrum, both ends of the seesaw, where people probably thought maybe not to that extent for 40 acres and a mule, but things were going to change and we're going to be this, that, and the third. And it's like. He can only, he's gonna be a president. Yeah, like he can only yeah. do what the he can only you can only do you know, you can only execute the plays that are being called. Exactly. In, exactly. in, in, in essence. Uh same thing with Trump. Trump's getting in there with all these, you know, you know, delusions of grandeur, but he's gonna execute the plays that could be called. Like you can't like you can you can go out there and throw to who you wanna throw to, but they gotta run certain routes. You gotta you know. Yeah, you gotta I mean, be on you gotta, you gotta be able to play the game of politics, and it's a, it's a, it's and a, and fortunately for Trump, while this could be unfortunate for some people, or they may see it as unfortunate, but he has the house on his side. As long as he's not doing anything overly drastic, he right. can get done what he thinks needs to get done. No, he can't. It's not. That's why I said. That's why I said. Well, no, no, and that with him having the house on his side, it makes it that much easier. There, there's advantages of having house on the side, but that they still have to do things. Yeah, they still. I mean, still have to. You know. Right. You know. Because well, you know. Absolutely. Take, we we, take, we and we again. I hate to keep going back, but we thought about this before. I and I, I remember mentioning. Uh, I guess my example was the the hard, hard resetting your phone, giving your phone to your little nephew or your little niece mm-hmm. or your daughter. And, and you'll just hurt us to kind of just, you know, just to pacify her, appease her for the time being. But the way your phone is set up, you know, it, it's she's not going to it's not going to come back hard reset because the find the hard reset button is so hard and yep. convoluted. They do that on purpose. So that way someone can't just grab your phone and you're right. You see, you fucking with your glasses and shit. No. my uh, So my allergies are really. That's why, uh, my, um, that's why I got glasses. Gotcha. On. OK. Uh, woke up this morning. Couldn't see shit. Serious. Yeah. I don't and, even feel like. Uh, and, and then I haven't really slept. That Over this, right because yeah. we had because our Memorial Weekend was pretty. Yeah, <sighs> we don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I know you got a lot of you know you got a lot of bitches out there. What you know what I'm saying? Uh, not never like what did Elliot do? You didn't call me, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. He was out there being the dawn of the pool party. <laughs> this guy, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe, don't believe the lies. <laughs> don't believe the lies. Although we did have a really nice. Right. Successful pool, right? And yeah, we were doing Super these way dope. before. And yeah, I was yeah, Corey doing, was doing these way before, way before Joe Button. Mm-hmm. Huh? You weren't here. Yeah, you weren't. Memorial Day. We uh, uh, we put out the invite. Yeah, it was. It was just. I, I threw. I was, I, I was actually taking mine. I, down I did though. not. And well, it was just. We'll get on. We'll get on that. <laughs> but it was just. We put. We was like, look, just put a flyer up. Who mm-hmm. whoever sees it, whatever, and we'll just take it down. Yeah. We didn't know who was in town. Who was? No, it was. Was it? We put it up Memorial Day. Listen, that is true. No, no, no. It was. It was. Yeah, this, we're talking to. Well, yeah, we're talking. We put to it up a, Saturday, Saturday night. Because remember, I was out here and we were at the pool. Put up Sunday night, and then it was, it was Monday. 
It was Sunday night? No. We had to party Monday. No, no, no. It was Sunday. It was Sunday because mm-hmm. I was supposed to be shooting Clay or Clee, however you pronounce it. Yeah, C L E. I heard it was actually popping uh, Sunday. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, you were there. So we're talking to our, our creative director. She's she's not even even around hardly. She's always busy. She's, she's just she's don't. got back from Atlanta. You know, she wants us to invite her. You know, she's always gone. You know, shooting didn't like you, didn't you fly to Atlanta from like California or some shit? Yeah, shooting. She was out there shooting, shooting Jadena, shooting them. I mean, you, you name it. She's shooting everybody. Just, just murder. She, she's out of here now. She's out of here. Gone. Yeah. Shout out to shout out to Troy Selfless. You know what I'm saying? What's young, your IG? Young poetic five one seven. What's your poetic five one seven? But poetic with a K. Yeah. Poetic five one seven. At that, you can see you see everything she does. She's a beast. But anyway, and the crazy thing is about it, mm-hmm. she's so humble with her posts. Like, there's no hashtags, no nothing. Just simple, I don't, I don't know. I don't think she's humble no more. I think she just doesn't know how dope she is. <laughs> That's just, I, just, I, know, I, I used to give her credit. Oh, she's humble now. She's just like, no, nah, she just don't know how dope she is. That's because she's here. Good. That, that just lets you know because she that, wouldn't be that, here. She knew how dope she was. But does that mean we're dope? That that maybe we don't know how dope we are, Elliot. I think that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. I think Monday was a true testament to our dopeness. Mm-mm. No, no, nah, that was that was weak. That was weak. That was pretty weak. That was pretty weak. Yeah, the yeah. tacos were lit though. Yeah, that's all it's about. <laughs> the thing is, the oh, shit. <laughs> the thing. The thing is, when you, when you no matter when you have a party, man. Sometimes sometimes it goes wrong. You have too many dudes. Sometimes it goes it goes wrong. No no one shows up. Whoever shows up, you make sure they have a good time. Mm-hmm. That's that's real dumb. And that's and that's party. how we base the the success of the party. Right. Folks came out, they had a good time. Yeah, people had a good time. A lot of text, like you know, thanking. Yeah, so yeah. It, was, it was a good time. Yeah, I was doing that the very next morning. You didn't you didn't burn up or nothing, man? That's pretty good. Yeah, man. Surprisingly, I did. Well, it was a night. It was a night. It was a night swim. Yeah. So that's but that's the best way. That's why we did it. <laughs> we didn't need any lights. We just brought Elliot out there. <laughs> And a couple of mirrors around him. That's about it. Yeah, I was short off Shawty that that whole day. How how she how is uh, Southside Shawty? What, I, I, I kept seeing prayer hands for her. I don't know uh, any update on her condition, and mm-hmm. I don't know what sent her to the hospital. Oh wow! I just know that. Did she Did you hear in, anything? I heard car car. She got hit by a car. That's what I heard. I, I didn't. I didn't even know that. Oh, okay. I just knew she wasn't. She was in there. Wow. And, and she wasn't doing well. I don't know who she. I didn't know who she is. To everyone started praying for. I looked her up and I was like, Wow, she's amazing. So South Park Shorty, if you don't, if you're not familiar with South uh, South Park Shorty, she um, she changed her life around completely. She wow. was super addicted to. Uh, Crack, I think okay. it was, Cause, and you can, you can, I mean, you can almost look at her and tell that okay. she had that or it was something. Herself. Got it. But she completely flipped herself around and started doing like showing up with like you know when she showed up with Snoop Dogg one day. Wow. It how she how, wait wait how you go from crack to Snoop Dogg, bro? I, I wish like I think she has a dope story. And okay. At, uh, okay. I think it would be really really dope to interview her just to kind of learn the details. Okay. Um, Snoop's dope. I say Snoop this, I say that. Okay, um, man, okay. You know, uh so I I, I would want to know more about uh South Park Shorty. If if you guys know about it or you know know exactly why she's in the hospital, yeah. you know, at least hit us up on Twitter and yeah. kind of inform us. Yeah. Um, for sure. But yeah. So, how do we jump from the Memorial Day party to uh South Park Shorty? How that happen? You said something about South Park or South, you said no, something about Shorty. No, I was short off Shorty. <laughs> off you were off short. You was off Sh- Shorty. Shirt 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 off. Oh so, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. had a lot of confidence too. I was like, he's rolling around like he, yo, he's out here peacocking out this motherfucker, yo. I'm like, save some of the bitches, man. Put your shirt back on, brother. <laughs> it's gonna be there, okay. <laughs> Listen, this is how it is for the time being until I get rid of it, and when I get rid of it, it's get rid of get what? Rid what you talking about? The, the stuff. Nah, I mean, why you even save it? This is this is audio, baby. You, you you could be as sexy as you want to on this microphone. Shit, you know I mean, what I'm saying? Well, I mean, they still got to look at the pictures, but now I Don't. mean, I, I've even gone to my Instagram, and started posting some pictures with me and my shirt off. So yeah, it. okay, all right. I'm, but um, the crazy thing hold is, on, let me I follow get, you real quick. I, I get more compliments about the shit. It's like motherfuckers think that shit is cool. Like yeah, so fuck shout it. out to shout out to Rick Ross for uh, um, pathfinding and you know breaking. No, trends. Joe Budden did that first. Not not Joe Budden. Uh, Fat Joe, wrong Joe. He was shirt off. Yeah, we, was at a, we did that without a pool party. Like Rick Ross, Rick Ross be like in the hood, <laughs> like in the alleyway. CeeLo too. CeeLo is another one. It's okay, true, true indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. CeeLo is another one of those yeah. bold motherfuckers. With is Rick Ross's out. beard real? 
I, why do you think it's not real? I was looking at it. Know what it was? I saw Carlos Carlos Boozer. He's doing he's doing a run. You think he peels it off every night and sits it on the side of his table? I don't think it's that. I think it may just be like a just a little modification. I could be it could be that luxurious of a beard. It looks fake. It happens sometimes. Like you ever see a girl with like really nice titties and like <laughs> those got to be fake, but they're just really nice titties. <laughs> and I apologize. Like I feel bad for girls with like really nice asses right now. Cause it's like, oh, that's fake, and they're like, no, I, no, I worked for this. Because when like, I whatever. had my beard super thick, it was, you yeah. know, easily in competition. No, nah, but you're light skin though, so it's believable. I, that ain't got shit to do. It with It doesn't. That. I just wanted to try to ain't got put a divide in black people. It. Yeah. Why? Ha, have you? Yeah, been, that's a problem. <laughs> yes, it is. We talked about this. Have you read the Willie Lynch letters yet? No, I have not. Okay, soon okay. enough we will. I think by like by like episode three hundred, you're gonna you're gonna read them. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Mm, my, excuse my, me. My watch was battery was dying. That's why I got my watch. Put, put, put your phone down, man. It is down. It was I, the watch. Do you, do you listen? To, you ever listen to Joe Rogan's podcast? No. He does a good job of like just like making his guests feel bad for looking at their phone. You guys, you looking at it? You looking at your phone? You need it. You need it, don't you? And they're like, no, I'm sorry, Joe. I'm sorry. It's pretty good, man. They, I like I like his podcast. It's pretty good. You gotta catch it. I I, I need to catch up on a lot of the podcasts. I haven't been yeah. listening to any. Um, any podcast lately other than when we're recording ours yeah uh so over the weekend i tried to catch up on a lot of stuff right right well you know i I ride my bike a lot so i get a chance to so so you do get the time absolutely and then and then on lunch break i get an hour i I usually catch everyday struggle which is doing pretty good is it complex I i need to catch up with that one have you have you seen any episodes yet um the only one i've seen was the one with Lil yachty that's the one you chose to see yeah, because that, that's it. It one, it made me a fan of Lil Yachty. Not his music, but the person. Okay. I think we talked about this too. Mm-mm. We didn't. No, we didn't talk about this. On the Not movie? at all. Okay, well, when I watched the uh, the the Everyday Struggle episode with Lil Yachty, mm-hmm. it made me a fan of him as a person. Why so? Uh, just of how he was representing himself. Um, mm-hmm. You know, Joe Budden was trying his best to. Knock him off his uh his cool vibe, you know. Whatever. Gotcha. He was trying to he was trying to be uh trying to be. He he was being super antagonistic to the guy. Uh, well, I think he had to because he had to he had to he had to stand up for what he had said when he wasn't there. Right, right, and and I don't think Joe is that guy to back down from anything he may have said. Right, so. right, right. I don't think he is, but I think he was trying to show that he doesn't back down. Yeah, Char- Charlamagne does a great job of that. Charlamagne, when you when you go to Charlamagne's show, he makes sure. That whatever he was saying behind your back, he says to you in front of and yeah. into your face. Yeah, Charlemagne is definitely really good for that. And then and he lets you know, like, look, this is my job. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm required to ask these questions or yeah. say these things, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm not the only one thinking about it, right? So, me understanding that now, I now have a little bit more of appreciation for Charlemagne, the the radio host, yeah. Um, because at least he does that, you know. He he says what he was thinking in front right. of the person. Right. Like I don't think anybody else would have been that bold to be the way he was with Birdman. Um. And then ask uh, and that, then and the then, journal, then yeah, and, journalistically, yeah. And um, then ask him very after after he Birdman has reached his temper peak. Yeah. Did you run up on Rick Ross? Well, he, like that? he he kind of revealed that was one of the questions that he already had. Yeah, because he, you know, like I said, he was he was, he was prepared as he, as he should have been. He's he's there. He knows what's going. On. So basically, when he when he came up and he said that, he was already you know yeah it, that ammo was there. So, um, being prepared that's another that's another thing. Being prepared, he's very prepared. Yeah. Uh, even if you listen to Charlemagne's um, Donkey of the Days, mm-hmm. it's not he's not just rambling. That's that's yeah, like no, it's no. like it, it, even it's, if it's, it's hard, valid reasons, it's. it's even if even if it's not valid reasons, right? I'm not even here to argue if it's valid or not because you might be right. There there is one it's person very, he took back a donkey today for ex- the, the the writing of it is extremely really good writing. Yeah, and when he read, I'm like, this is good. This is good journalism. Mm-hmm. Charlemagne like, is good at what he does, and you really can see good. why he's getting paid the did, way he's getting paid. Did you see? Uh, you know, you know me. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Levar Ball, right? I'm a big fan of Levar Ball. And he showed up on. Uh, That's Com- one of the things that you're really good on, man. You're really good at knowing these key people and then following them. Right. You know, um, I can. Well, not even knowing. I just, I just like who I think is dope, right? And I right. think that you know, I've been on Lavar Ball. What he's been doing before? Because see, I have no idea who that is. So uh, it's sports. So I don't. I don't expect. I'm not even being funny. It's sports. So I don't expect you to. But mm-hmm. there's a guy named Lavar Ball. 
He's a he's a father of three sons, mm-hmm. has a wife. She's white. That has nothing to do with it, but I did want to mention that. I don't know why. But this the 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 oldest son. Yeah, it's a stereotype. Oh right, <laughs> Old, the oldest son. <laughs> Uh, and they give him a little more, Lavar, a little more background. He's from South Central LA, mm-hmm. right? So you kind of can maybe, maybe you kind of anticipate maybe his aggression or just his maybe, or even his blackness. Let's say that mm-hmm. he has he has three sons. They're already dead, committed to UCLA already, right? But one went played uh, UCLA. He's a one and done. That's somebody who goes to college one year and they get drafted the next year, right? Mm-hmm. And he went uh, performed well. Was rookie, you know, uh, freshman of of the year. Um, he was uh, freshman of the year this year. Performed well. Got knocked out the the the, the, the uh, NC tournament dance pretty early. Uh, but just to kind of get to my point, um, his son into the league, committed to the, into the NBA. So now he can you know deal in with you know professionalism and contracts and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, got offered like a like ten million dollar deal from either Nike or either. Uh, Adidas or maybe even uh, Under Armour, who, who, who knows? Right. But they already had a brand that was already cooking. It's called Big Baller Brand. It's three Bs, right? Their last name is Ball. He has three sons, pretty much representing them. Triple Bs. Got you. That was already, uh, you know, in the making and rolling. Um, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Like I you said, you know, our, our show is real raw. Ellie's taking I, pictures right now just to capture everything. I so, love messing with Troy with yeah, the camera. She does not like. She's like she, my she'll mother. Put, she'll put that little hand up there real mm-hmm. quick. Nah, she's like my mother because my mother <laughs> is a photographer. But she, you take a picture of my. She don't want you to take no pictures of her. That's hilarious. So, so anyway, um, uh, they get into the league. The easiest thing to do is essentially to um, easiest thing to do essentially take that little measly like 10 million dollar deal or take that five million dollar deal for your sneaker deal just to be an endorser well i think what they want to do is be a partner uh so he he basically all the labels that went to him not labels i'm talking about hip-hop all the uh the companies that came to him hold on let's let's take a break come back back i can't talk to a nigga taking pictures of me and shit i'm looking down the lens and keep talking no keep going i'm trying i'm trying not that we'll take a break after the story keep going keep going so, so uh, essentially, all the, 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 the larger sneaker companies mm-hmm. uh, that deal with the NBA, they came to him for these deals, to, at least to have a conversation with them, right? He turned on an endorsement deal. He let them know, hey, I want, a, I want a partnership. This is how much I want. I want to go in as a partner. I want 50-50. Right. And this hasn't been done before, which is blows my mind, right? Biggest deal I heard of was like the $90 million shit for 10 years with LeBron. I think maybe Harden may have eclipsed that you know, recently. I'm not sure. But people were getting big money. Basically, he's into the NBA, his own shoe deal, right? Right, right. Okay, now I know who you're Own company, about. so the own shoe, the, the four ninety five, the five hundred dollars shoe. Right, 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 right. So, you know, you you know, we're familiar but with. They Nipsey. don't look too bad either. It's something I wouldn't buy because I can't afford that, right? But but it's all about even if it was affordable. If um, it was affordable, I might get it because I got the I got the Kobe you know mentality twos and it looked just like that. Yeah. But the whole point, right? We 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 were familiar with Nipsey Hustle and and the, and the hundred dollar mixtape and the, mm-hmm. the hundred dollar cheese steak and uh, I mean there's so many things to where the the price almost drives almost drives conversation right. right I don't know if he's that smart I don't know if he just really thinks you know this, this shoe is worth you know five hundred dollars but it drove so much attention to where again we're still talking about this now this is so yeah I mean. The conversation was basically saying, you know, here you have a brother who's selling some shoes for five hundred bucks. Yes, it's five hundred dollars. But would you do it? Time, would you not? Would you do it? Would you not? You right. know, but you're going to turn around and spend that five hundred dollars on some Gucci's. You're going to spend that money on well, some we, Louis we, Vuitton's. We, 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 we may not. But there are you people. And, you and I may not. Well, there's, there's people that spend like eight hundred dollars on some Salvatore Ferragamos. Mm-hmm. Way, way, way more expensive. But. Well, I mean, but, you know, the style. But when yeah. you're talking about sneakers, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, you have those Prada sneakers that are 500 bucks. You got the Gucci sneakers. Right, and you, can't, and you can't play basketball, though, no, if you wanted to. No. So I wasn't, I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad because two things. It's his own company, and, and we know when you have anything independent, sometimes you don't have the resources that a larger company may have to make things inexpensive, mm-hmm. right? Because sometimes as an independent the things that you need to create whatever it is that you want to sell the product you want to sell 
your price point may be a little higher in terms mm-hmm. of how you're going to flip it. So, so what you're going to arbitrage isn't the same. Right. So, like, you know, when you sell uh, the actual physical magazine, what is it now? What? It can, we could say, we could talk about it. Fuck it. What is it, like 20 bucks? Uh, for for me to pay for it? No, or if, if I'm a customer, I want to go. I want to go buy it. You, no, no, you know, we're not gonna get too 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 far. Just give me a flat number, like fifteen put, bucks, like fifteen, right? Right. So let's say you want to make two dollars on each magazine. That's seventeen dollar magazine, right? From right. an independent, right? So let's right. say if you are a uh, fucking Vibe magazine or Source magazine, they have resources to where they can flip them and make it, you know, anywhere from three to five bucks. Yep. So they're like, well, why is Houston Trend way more expensive than the source, mm-hmm. right? And that's one of that's one of the main re- and, key and, reasons. And that was main, that was one of the conversations I had to continuously have was, why are you charging ten, fifteen dollars exactly. for a magazine right. when I can go buy a double XL or a source for three fifty? Right. right. And right. and then of course it would be I would have to explain, you know, yada yada right. yada. But you're not going to get. Yeah, well, it's too well. Yeah, we want you want to educate your customer, but sometimes you can't educate on everything. You can't. This no, is, no. But even even without educating them on the reason why I have to pay X amount, without mm-hmm. telling them that, I'm basically saying you're not going to see a GT Garza in the source right now. Not saying he won't be right, right now. We're talking right. about them, right? But you're not going to see Dobezy in those magazines. Not now. That's an even great. That's an even greater point. But right. some people make it look. I don't give a fuck about a DeLorean or a GT Garza. Right. I want to know about Kanye. Right. I want to know. And, and, I want to know about then, right. So, so I'm not gonna pay a five dollars to know about Beyonce's life, yeah. and then pay seventeen dollars to know about a GT Garza, right? Right. Now, 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 I, I think your point is right on par. It's actually a good point. Mm-hmm. But some people may make that argument. But the thing is, that's not really what it is. It's not like if other magazines, because otherwise, everyone, every magazine that can get GT Garza in it, they would charge twenty dollars for the magazine. That's not what it is. Right. It's really, it's just hey, look, hey, this is an this is an independent thing. Mm-hmm. This is this is how much it costs me to make it, and if I want to even make a dollar or two off of it, this is what I have to charge. Exactly. And that's and it's that simple. And you could educate, but you can't educate every customer on that. And I guess my point is. With Lavar, he can't sit there and go, "Well, I don't have a, a you know uh, internal right. designers and this that things to make it." So yeah, I got to go for, to this guy and that guy, that guy. So by the time I, I this this five hundred dollars shoe, it, it cost me three hundred fifty to make it. I'm mm-hmm. really charging the same thing they're charging, but you know whatever, whatever, whatever. Exactly. exactly. So so so, but my thing, I guess my thing is with him. People were getting on him for for making it that high or whatever it is. I'm yeah. like I'm like, look. You got your own shoe. That's the first person. That's the first person to do that. To make your own shoe. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I was gonna say Steph Curry shoe was ugly as hell, but it was like one of the top selling shoes. Mm-hmm. So it lets you know that the person selling it is what where the where the drive is. Yeah, you know. So I'm I'm root, I'm rooting for that. I'm rooting for him to uh, to have you know continuous success with those shoes. Yeah. Although I wish you know the price would drop so regular you, people you, like me. Well, can what you do? It. What you do? What you well, do? And this is what they all do, right? That? Whether it's whether it's Gucci or you 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 name the brand right, mm-hmm. what they do is they have these high brand things right, and then they sell you a T shirt for twenty five dollars right, because now you have some you can associate this inexpensive thing with a higher with a high brand or a high cost a high dollar right. product. If you find a twenty five dollar Gucci T shirt, my man, see okay, so you're already with me, <laughs> you're already with me, right? So what they can also they can come up with another tier. It's like uh who who does it? Champs. Like Lexus, you got the Toyota. You got the or even Benz. Benz, you got the the six hundred, mm-hmm. and then you got the the, the you the know three, the, the three series. Yeah, and and, and well, but I still, mean, but when so, you got the three hundred, no one's going. Oh, you got that cheap shit. They're going. They're, oh, it's well, a, I mean, it's, a it's like it's like Polo and Champs. Champs being the cheaper version of it, and it being an, a known thing. But or you, you got but Lexus, you still, so you it's got still Toyota. A, it's still associated with the with the more expensive or right. You know, high end brand, right? Okay, so I mean, so if you're getting the 300 uh, Beamer versus the 700, you still got a Beamer. The Beamer, thank you. So, so you can keep the 500 dollars shoe, right? Right. Keep it there. You can still don't don't bring the value of that shoe down. No. Bring another one out. Yeah. Bring another one out, different color or something like that. Make it the 150, whatever, whatever, whatever. And and don't put you know whatever it, it you know make it look like a Converse or some shit. No, make, keep no. it look. I mean, make it look good, but just yeah, that's I mean, just that's yeah, what it is. But you know. And, and then would you also understand you're getting a quality difference? If I buy a 300 Beamer, you don't you don't I'm say not, they don't they don't advertise quality. 
No, no, no. But but you know is but it's, we it's, we it's, figure it out. Yeah. But they don't they don't go. Hey, we have a less expensive. They don't say that. They just go. This is three series. Yeah. Is it? It's no. It's a well. It's, it's a little little smaller. It's made for this type of that type. Of, if you just look, you know, the lady that doesn't want. They don't go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we got some cheap shit. If you want, <laughs> I know you can afford this shit. You know, it's, it's, cheap yeah, shit. It's, it's, that, that's that's a bad way to promote it. Because also too, you know, if if you if you do have a six series Beamer, right? You do got the this the or I'm sorry, the seven series Beamer, mm-hmm. and you're buying one for your daughter or the i series. Ooh. Or you're buying one for your daughter. Maybe she wants the cute little car. Yeah. The three two three, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, well, she didn't want that. She wants the big, the big body. And she wants a little body, but just it's, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we don't always, right, right, we right. don't always know. Right. So I guess, and I'm getting off track. The reason why I even came to that because you know talking about how someone and talk talking about Charlemagne and his uh, uh, donkey of the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, Colin Cowherd has a show where he had on Levar Ball, but also on his show he has a co-host. Um, Christine Leahy, she's a white girl. She's like a very uh, outspoken white woman, right? Wow, uh, very outspoken. I'm sorry, I'm reword that. She's a very outspoken woman. She just happens to be white, but she has a white tone, right? Okay. So when she's antagonistic, you know, it hits a nigga's ears weird, right? So I don't know if this is making sense. Not yet. like not like the Tammy chick. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy Lauren. Lauren. Well, Tammy. Well, Tammy was just saying, and since she, she's not her at all. She's okay. so she's more left. I, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know her. I don't. I, that don't. It, that doesn't bother it's, me. It's, it's 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 more of a liberal versus conservative conversation. I don't know if, if she's. she's li- I don't know if she's liberal or not. I don't even think she's racist. I honestly don't. But you know as well as I do. There's a tone from. Yeah. From from white from white condescending women mm-hmm. that'll kind of turn you a different way, right? Yeah. So anyway, she but she's been very outspoken about Lavar. Okay, she said what that. Was her, what well, was it was her? about his about his kids mainly. They they're, they're scared of him. They they only they're only saying things because he's making them. They're only playing basketball because he's making them. And I'm like, what nigga is being made to play basketball? They already got they already got scholarships for UCLA. One's about to hit the NBA. That's his dream. Like he's a physical trainer, so he knows how to train his boys. They they love them. They're super confident. So I'm like, okay, so what's the big deal? But she's kind of making it sound like they're scared of him and all this kind of stuff. So when he came on the show, he had already heard this. So when he was talking to him, and then of course everybody wants to know how successful the move was to sell a five hundred dollar shoe. How much? How many did you sell? How many did you sell? Right? Because either this is a success story, mm-hmm. success story, or they're going to make fun of you. Right? That's right. how that's how we do. Right. Right. So. He was smart to keep his business to himself. He was like, you know, you know, for, for me, you know, we 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 sold a good amount, right? And I and I know what he's saying. He's saying, hey, basically, look, hey, for this shoe, it's it's our own product. We've already made history. Yeah. So even if it doesn't do well, you still got your own shoe. Yeah. And I, and I'm you're like, still, I fuck you're with still that. Still doing your own thing. We're successful either way. I fuck with that, right? Yeah. So uh, and sometimes that you could you know, again, you and I understand you could just be saying that just to save face. But mm-hmm. but I think he's really true. Like, look, look, dude, we've. We're we're successful whichever way you want to go to it, right? Yeah. And, and just to kind, of, I'm trying to get to this point quick. So you want to get to this break? <laughs> I, I, no, I'm not. Even, I'm not even worried about the break. That's just when you were taking pictures, and I was like, hard to talk to you while you were snapping you, pictures you were just and shit. Being weird. Yeah, that's probably all it was. So what it was, she had he already knew what she was saying. So mm-hmm. he was talking to Colin, and Colin Cowherd said to him, "How many have you sold?" He's like, "You know what? Uh, you know, I, I think so far we, we've sold a good amount. I'm happy with it." Right. And then you hear Christine Leahy go. How many did you sell? Right in that kind of you know yeah, and that, yeah, and that kind of like you and he damn said you got to get your teeth knocked out. So he said he, he 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 straight up he was like I'm not even talking to you. He said <laughs> he said I think the, I think his actual quote was stay in your lane, right? Stay in your lane, like chill chill out. She looked she took that as disrespect, right? Which it is probably disrespect, but I think it's disrespectful to say your kids are scared of you. They're only doing this because you're making them. That's disrespectful. Yeah. I think that's so. So him, that's not, that's not her lane. So him say. saying disrespectful, and then she said a couple things like, "Oh, so you don't respect women," or she said things like, "You know, I don't. I think Adidas and Nike they don't want to work with you because you don't have anything for women." And he was like, "You know, if you want to make a woman's brand, you need, you need to have a brand for women." Like, like what are we talk? What is she talking about? Like, how many brands start off with one product, they work that skew, and then they that it turns into something different. Then you go, "Okay, let's try this. Let's try that. Let's try this." You, you you can't come in and go okay. I want to make a men's sneaker. This is awesome. Let me make a woman's sneaker too. Mm-hmm. So she kept saying all that. You you disrespect women. You don't like women and all. And he was just like, see, I'm scared of you. I don't even want to talk to you. 
you you think my sense my sons are scared of you? I'm scared to talk to you. But Charlemagne heard that that conversation. He flipped that. Ah, it, it's a long. That was yeah. a long story for really no reward. But if you if you pull that up, that donkey today, how he laid laid uh, Christine Leigh, I was just like, man, I, it feels good not to have to be able to want to say something to somebody mm -hmm. when there's somebody out there already saying it. Yep. And I think that's why he has so much uh, strength in the game because he's he's literally. What he says, uh, I think he got the advice from Wendy Williams. He said, hey, look, either you're of the industry or the people. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, you're going to all these industry parties, things like that. You're of the industry. But if you, you're you trying to understand what your following wants to know from this this person that's on, on, you know, on the mic with you, that's what you got to do. Even if it's a crazy question, people want to know that. The questions he's asking, people, that, that's, what we, that's why we're watching. Like, he's going to ask what we want to ask this month. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's he's going to say the shit that we probably wish we could right. say to that person. Exactly, and, 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 and I guarantee you, the questions. I mean, and, and to bring it back to the Birdman situation, there's not a radio personality out there that didn't want to ask those questions. I didn't even know about that. So, but when I heard it, I was just like, "Well, that is a good question." Yeah, because I mean, you know, you you playing tough with with this dude. Yeah. You know, but, well, but 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 I was like, oh yeah, he did. This but, dude did say, and that dude did say something crazy to you. And did but, did you? But even to ask about the contract situations, you know, even to ask about that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. nobody's really asking Birdman. You know, hey, listen, you got all these allegations coming at you and your label. Nobody's really asked that because it's kind of like they're timid. They don't know what he's going to say. Right. You know, he he has this persona of being you know a gangster. You, you know exactly. He so you're timid to ask these kind of questions. Where when Charlemagne did it, he was like, "What about as far as I am from you?" Yep. As and Birdman has a fleet full of people inside the studio. Right. I shit. Charlemagne showed me he has no fear whatsoever. No, I, I, I'm not gonna say he didn't have fear. I'm not, I'm not saying say, he doesn't have fear. But but that it's like but, but the, the he thing, gave the no thing, fucks. The thing is to to ask it when you have fear means more to me. Yeah, it's different if you're just not scared and you're just doing. It. I think you, I can see his mannerism because he starts he starts doing stuff with his with, with his with his mouth. That's weird. Like he'll start uh, almost like um, I can't even explain. It's almost like he's beatboxing with no beat. With his lips, when he gets, when he gets a little nervous, or Ner being nervous I'm, is but, uh, different than yeah. You can be, you could be. Fear, fear, yeah, you're right. Now, fear and nerves are different, and I don't, I don't think he was scared, but I think he was like, okay, this could go somewhere, so let me be yeah. prepared. Right, and that's all it was is a preparedness, but it's still, you know, it it it'll drive your those, yeah. uh, you know, that uh, I can't even think of the word, but you know, when that shit that goes through your veins. Uh, yeah, I mean, and blood, adrenaline, yeah, yeah, adrenaline. it's going to enhance your adrenaline. Pumping. It's going to get all there, but yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's just like you know, you're getting out of an accident, and you know, if you ever been in an accident, you start to have this mm -hmm. little shaky shit. It's going like on. it's like girls crying when they mad. They really just want to whoop your ass, and not really just crying. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, Colin Cowherd, going back to Colin Cowherd, I think he made a great point in terms of uh, just personalities on air, whether it's or, you know TV or radio. Mm -hmm. He said, "It's you know, people want to hear opinions. They don't care if you're right or wrong." Right. And I think, and and, and, and again, going back to and shooting back to what Charlemagne saying, it's like just don't be a caricature of yourself, right? He told Tommy Lauren that, and he's like, "Look, if those if these are your real opinions, then then that that's fine. But if these aren't your real opinions, and you're just trying to play this." He said, "It's not going to last." Yeah. That's what he said. He said that. He said like at least two or three, four interviews. I heard him say that. Um, she's gone now. Yeah. It's it's. Cause she went on somebody, she went on somebody's show, talking some shit that wasn't the personality that that she signed up to she be. She went on um, uh, the, the Daily View Show. Or she was on the no, Daily Show. That wasn't, but that's not. I think she got fired because when she was on the View, saying I think she was pro pro choice. Well, no, but yeah, she but, was pro. But, she was pro but choice. You seen chips in that persona? You seen you know that? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't personally see it. Okay. She. She. Uh, so Trevor Noah interviewed her. No, no, I saw that. That's not where. She, no, she was good on that. She was Gucci on that. No, but 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 so but you've seen layers of that that woman that we seen on Fox News come you know come off. She was like, no, 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 no. Listen, that's fine. Know. That's what Fox wanted. I'm saying when she got fired off the Blaze, she was saying some shit that contradicted what the Blaze was talking about. Mm -hmm. So right, she wasn't she wasn't saying that conservative shit. She was talking that liberal shit. Right. She was talking pro choice. I was like, they were like, huh. Yeah. No, 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 no. And that's when and she got that, that can. And but the crazy shit is, is like you got can for that shit. 
when when Fox News will say, you know, that they are probably a bipartisan network, yeah, yeah, it's it's weird. It's weird. You know. But anyways. They know better than that's that's yeah. not true. Let's um let's take a break real quick. Okay. And uh come right back. And then we're gonna fill our glasses yeah. and uh yeah. Indeed, D. You better get this better be a good musical break too. Um, what you what you want on the music break? Because mm. we got some Tony Dart. Get some Tony Dart. Let me let me get some um You got any you got any Dope Easy? Yeah, I I can I don't know if I don't know if I listen to know about Dope Easy yet. I, I got I got something for him. I bet. I got still, something for I bet. We'll be right back. Two cups to keep the ice cold. I ride foes and just swung on three white hoes. I shine hard, bitch. You can see me through your blindfolds with your eyes closed from a whole nother time zone. My mind gone like I just lost it last year. Yeah. 250 for my polo, which you know by cashmere. Yeah. I murdered a track and skip ball. My flow crazy like Vince Young. I wake up with my cake and we never break up. No Vince Vaughn. I'm back with it. No ad living. I just eat the track like fat women in a leg chilling. Sitting on leather. My pot not a purse on sipping on yellow. I'm getting my cheddar, chasing those skis. I'm chasing my dough till I'm breaking my knees. With ice on the watch, that'll make time freeze. I'm as real as it getting you fake as IDs. I tell these hoes to hold up. Bitch, I'm about to pull up. I'm all about my bread, lettuce, and cheese like a cold cut. I swing on those who cross me, paint look glossy like a donut. With a swisher full of that Shrek, about to roll up that feet on us. Slow up, no slowing down. If you didn't know then, better know it now. And if you whole around, you better hang it up. So many bitches on my dick, I gotta chain it up. I do the track so dirty that I stain it up. But when they talking about the best, who they bringing up? I better make all the other nigga lame me fuck. And I came to show the game that the game itself is dope bees. The police get off because they're protecting the property. But Hillary's first speech was about mass incarceration. Hillary incarc- gave speeches about all kind of stuff, but it didn't have a whole lot of integrity in it, though, brother. That was that, that's point. such bullshit. That's not bullshit at all. Really? Look you, how they you, treated Bernie Sanders, man. Mm. They treated treat about the Russians. Look how they treated Bernie Sanders. The, uh, yeah. Bernie would have won if he had a chance. Uh-huh. He would have won if he yeah, had a chance. Just... Don't, don't defend Hillary. And, Hillary can't even take responsibility for the fact that she lost the election. Look what you did to him. On everybody, but, yeah. everybody but, he, but he's so, so don't, wrong. Don't, don't try Hillary he, out on he, me. He, he's, he's so wrong. Oh, no, no, no. Right. He's so wrong. Right. She's if, better than Trump, yeah. but don't, don't lie about the sister. Just She's better than Trump. That's all I'm saying. A lot better than Trump <laughs> in so many ways. <laughs> and just, just that, 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 that doesn't just, take too much. Just, that doesn't take too much. Who is it better than Trump? <laughs> <laughs> That's not an answer. It's glib. It's beneath That's you. Not, no, it's for not someone glib who's at all. Such, for someone who's such an intellectual, that is that answer is beneath you. But let me tell you why it's not. It's precisely because when I ask you, would you vote for 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 Donald Trump over David Duke, you said you wouldn't vote for either one. Mm-hmm. Remember, I took Yeah, Hillary that, is not David that? Duke. No, no, but it's this. If you're talking about Wall Street, if you're talking about militarism, if you're talking about dealing with folk in Honduras, she's light years better than him about mis- all of them. All the of those issues, right, Hillary, cut, cut, is cut that. unacceptable. But uh, I, 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 one, I want to. Uh, reason why I like Real Time. Love that show. Love it. Love uh, Bill Maher. Bill Maher brings people on not to agree with him right like people he just he's cool with a lot of people that he can just have discourse with mm-hmm. whether he's agreeing with them or not of course he, he'll call out bullshit he'll call that bullshit as soon as he hears it mm-hmm. it could be his father father mother best friend it don't matter who it is if he's if you're saying something he doesn't agree with he's gonna call it right there right yeah, exactly cornell west the same way i so i i, I appreciate that that exchange yeah, um, I'm, I'm literally about to play that as soon as I get in the car. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, just what they were talking about too. You know, uh, do you think Bernie, given a chance, would have beat uh, Trump? Absolutely. Think so? A- absolutely. 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 Why you say? Why you say that? I mean, if you want to talk numbers immediately, I mean, if you, I, I hate these the esoteric polls, I, I never know where these polls come from. But for whatever reason. In the polls, it was showing that Bernie Sanders would have dramatically landslided uh, Trump. I the about, problem with yeah. Hillary was well, she it had, was she had some ev- huge flaws. Too. It was an evil versus evil. Yeah, with with them. Right. Um, with Sanders, it would have been the good guy versus the bad guy. No, and they didn't want that. They had their money invested in Hillary. Um, Sanders didn't have that. Who's, who's they? Uh, you know, uh, all of her sponsors. I think wasn't Chase one of them. Um, 
JP, well, JP Morgan and Chase, yeah, okay. yada, yada, yada. They, but, they, but, they but, but, but she had some big money behind her. Um, right. And Bernie Sanders did not. And he was really pushing the fact that he didn't have these big corporations because he wanted to get rid of well, yeah, when that when kind they, of lobbying. Anyone, that, anyone that's paying you, that they, they have a strong, inf- they want to have an influence. Of course. And uh, that's, I mean, but, but every, the thing is, every politician I know, they, a, a lot of politicians that I've known, they 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 bark that I don't mm-hmm. I'm not taking this from no one da, 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 so that way I can run my own. Uh, Barack did it, but then once he got the actual Democratic nod, he started taking donations from mm-hmm. from all over the place. Yeah, because well, because I think once you get up there, you have to realize you need that money. But that's why I remember remember I think it was episode one, two, or three, and I was like, they need the money needs to go somewhere. I don't think I don't think that's. Because once you with the money, when people look, they go, "Okay, well, who who can win?" Okay, I don't really, I don't really agree with his or her politics, mm-hmm. but the side that I'm on, they can be blah 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 blah, right? So you don't. So what it does is, you tend not to vote for who you th- who you feel is the best candidate. You vote for who you think can win. Mm-hmm. I've had this conversation with a few people, especially you know even even Otis. He's, he says I'm wrong, and I, and I understand why people say I'm wrong. I just feel that the money the money is going to influence a lot of different things, right? So even if you're with somebody at one point, they can not necessarily flip flop, but they got to go with their, you know, their 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 economic standing mm-hmm. and their monetary, uh, you know, influence. Okay, yeah. you gave me this, I got to go go this way. Yeah. So that's that's why it's weird to me. I think if they if they somehow I don't know, and it, it's probably never going to happen, but in a, in a in a in a, in a better in a, world, if they removed, if they removed that and had a straight up Bernie Sanders versus Donald Trump, I think we wouldn't. Even, he, it wouldn't even just be two people. It would be a lot more to pick from. Well, well I'm saying it. Well, in this scenario, with with the, with those guys being the players in it, um, got it. Bernie Sanders running the Democratic. I, I honestly believe he should have ran independent, but that's my personal belief. But nevertheless, him running representing the Democrats. Uh, Donald Trump representing the Republicans, how he managed. They were well. They both both of them are pretty much independent it, of. I mean, in terms of what they really. Yeah, and their belief system, they're both independent. Yeah, um, but they have to. But they have to choose a party to win. Yeah, because so, you need that backing. Yeah, and then you start saying and doing things shit to, 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 to yeah, appease to, that that yeah. crowd. I don't, um, know, but, I don't know but, if I agree with that. But in a in a straight up like a senator, bro, uh, would have. Murked the like shit. He would have killed Donald Trump on a on a straight up argument debate or anything like that. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe if you're watching, you may have agreed, but you gotta think who who voted for Donald. They may not have been well with that the, because Donald had a niche crowd, and we we've always talked about this anytime we brought up Donald mm-hmm. um, or Joffrey, as I like to call him. Um, <laughs> jo- Ooh, Joffrey, Joffrey. Uh, so Joff, for those that know what uh, Game of Thrones is. Joffrey was. Well, I know Game of Thrones. I thought you were talking about like um, coming to America. No. Nah. Joffrey Joffrey? No, no, no. Oh, okay. uh, no, the little brat kid that was the king in King uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. That's the one that got pushed out of the building. That's the one that. Um, this is the brat, the one that 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 got the uh, the dogs killed and shit in in like season one and two. I yeah. Th- this was the brat that yeah. got um the Stark killed. You got know? it. Yeah, uh, yeah. He yeah. died, I think, of poison. Okay. Um, the one that. F- Threw himself out the window was his younger brother. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So now the mom is. Yeah. Yeah. But That's it, all. We, we could talk about that. Yeah. Now. yeah. Anyways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, with with um, a straight up Bernie Sanders versus Joffrey or Donald, as America wants to call him. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> America. <laughs> uh, I think on it on. Having a senator in that position, I don't care if he was representing Democrats or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody that is experienced in those positions. Hillary is experienced. Yes, she's had years and years of experience yeah. and was primed for the position. Um, but Bernie Sanders, the way he thinks, the way he operates, and how he's how he sees shit right. is 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 so fluid. To where I don't think Donald Trump would have been able to keep up at all. It, is, um, it doesn't. It doesn't. That wasn't why. But that wasn't why. 
Donald won. No, 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 no. It Don, was Donald because won. Donald won because of of the crowd he obtained through it. He was um, and, Donald and, Trump. Donald Trump was T-Mobile saying we have faster service, although they only tested it in a small city like Austin, <laughs> where they overloaded their towers. Right. Mm-hmm. To so they they did it. They did a study there. Like hey, in Texas, we're the fastest. Right, and they can right. legally say that. Mm-hmm. And people buy into it, right? Versus all these other, you know, providers out there that are way better everywhere else. Mm-hmm. But they, but they can legally say, "Hey, hey, we're the fastest." Da, what, da, 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 and then say, "With the what, city, you're real small." Before Trump ran, what validated him to to run? Because you're looking for validation right now. That's where you fucking up. Because, all you got to do is all you have to do is run. But what Chris Rock was saying is like, "Look, you shouldn't you you should not be able to run if." As a celebrity, right? And he even included Hillary, like, because he said, "Look, hey, you know, it should be the same rules as a game show, right? Mm-hmm. Like, if you go to if you're a game show and you work for the beat or the box, like, Matt had his wife shouldn't be able to win the contest. It just that's just not it shouldn't be happening. That's a rule, right? Right. But also too, uh, he, what he was saying is like, like, let's say you're an incumbent, you're a mayor for 20 years, that shouldn't be allowed either because that's celebrity also." So we should be able to get rid of that if we're gonna if we're gonna really do it right. I wouldn't. Okay, so celebrities like I know, I know you know mayors that been in, that been incumbents for like twenty five years. But let's say you're 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 running. We want to run for mayor. You have fresh ideas, good, good ideas. Here's the thing that scares me mm-hmm. um, with with Trump winning. You know, and not, not that I'm against anybody believing they could be president because obviously that is the only position that anybody born American can be. It's the only thing, you know, like that you don't even need to go through certain avenues to be. You can just run. Once you get enough votes, you're in. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you don't have to you don't have to be college educated to be president. While it helps, mm-hmm. you don't have to be. You don't even have to have a high school degree. It helps. Mm-hmm. But you don't need it. Obviously, you don't even have to have any public <laughs> service on your record or no, any any political. Nothing, you know, and I, I, I do think that it should be some criteria to that I believe that I believe in a scale that you know as long as you're moving up so say for instance you started out as a local congressman you became mayor you became governor you became senator now you're up for par to be president I think that should be the the way to go for that because now we know on a small scale you understand the people yeah on a larger scale you understand the politics on the much more global scale, you now understand foreign politics. Trump had none of that experience. Right. He understood things on a business matter. He knew how to maneuver like a politician in, right. in the business world, right. but not in, in the sense of running a country. Yeah, you and, can't run a country like a, like a business, right? Yeah. Now, there, there are certain aspects where that can be an advantage, mm-hmm. but it's just like, it, like, and I think where you're going is if, if you wanted to be, even if you want to be a general manager of a restaurant, they're going to they're gonna make sure you understand how to serve. They're going to make sure you understand how to, how, what, what the chefs are going through, what they understand, and when they got to fire this and fire that, expediters, all that jazz. Um, Barack just had an interview. Really? and Yeah. And, uh, I can't remember who it was, but he uh, and I'm but um and I'm trying to find it when uh, we we get off air or right. <laughs> right. off air right. when we're on air. Anyways, um, I'm mean, gonna try to find it, but he the way he uh said uh, what he said was, you know, there was a lot of things that he wished he could have done, but the fact that he has to maneuver a certain way to appease not just the people, but also colleagues and whatnot. Um. And so, for instance, he said, you know, it would have been easy for me to to cut fat, you know, like uh, like what Trump is doing with education. This, you know, this, that and the third pork belly, yeah, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and and kind of save money, you know, and gain capital in certain ways. Mm-hmm. However, he has to think about how does this affect the person that utilizes whatever this is. So, for instance, with education, when with uh, it being a big cut now on education, right? You got to think about those people that are getting the education that way. Mm-hmm. You know, it's as opposed to saying, "Hey, we're spending too much money; we're not getting any results." So, take that money out, right? Uh, you but, know, that's well, like saying you're on life support. 
you're breathing, you're cognizant of what's going on. But if I pull that life support out of you because now I need to save money because my my uh, my electric bill is too high, right. well, I'm an asshole. <laughs> Well, yeah, and, and this is a lot of bullshit in politics too, and also legislation. Because you, because you can, like you said, you you could be pulling for some uh, board of education or some some education bill. Mm-hmm. But in that same bill, you could have like, uh, you know, it could be a vote against breast cancer in a in a, in a bill that's for, um, you know, passing, you know, more money for educators. Right, you're like, yeah, I want that, and you're pushing for that. And in that same bill, there's some weird shit about like, hey, yeah, you know, you're, you know, uh, this will, this will, voting for this, this will take money from breast cancer uh, research. Right, right. But you're pushing for it. It's like, okay, I get it, but it's like, damn, it's okay. So you vote for right. it. And next thing you know, when you're next thing now, when you're running for president or senator or whatever, they're going, yeah, they voted against. Uh, breast cancer research, and which is the reason why, so, when you're in those positions, you must understand thoroughly everything that you are trying to approve of. You, you know, you, but but it's 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 almost it's almost impossible. It's, it's almost, but it is because. Well, the thing is, they need to just like it is just need if you're voting for something, it needs to be you voting on that period, right? Right. I get it. Where they're going? Okay. Well, you're pulling money from this, mm-hmm. but it's like yeah, it's like no, I'm really voting. I'm voting for that. Right. You know, I mean, when they were talking about Bernie Sanders, uh, there was one point that he, I think he had voted for the war or something. And then that was like a small part of the bill that he had voted for. You know, like, okay, if we are able to pass this, then this has to happen. Well, that's, that's, what, that's what pork belly is. Yeah. It's the shit that's thrown in. It's, it, okay, this is, this is the, what, what everyone's going for. This is the, the, the major part of mm-hmm. the bill or the major part of the legislation that we're going for mm-hmm. and trying to, you know, push forward. But they put all this other little shit in it because a lot of times the budget may be coming from this or that and this that. Right. Third. Again, I, I'm the, I'm probably the last person to be talking about it, but just just a general I I you know yeah just a general idealization idea. of it. Yeah. So so yeah, maybe pulling money from other organizations or other projects. So that's why it's in there, mm-hmm. and they put it in it. So it makes it look like oh, okay, you were that's how um George Bush beat uh, McCain. That's how he took him out when he was running for president, and he became the Republican nominee because. It was something in there about um, you know cancer research, or STEM research, something like that, and they made it look like you know John McCain is against cancer research because he was voting for X, Y, and Z. Right. And that to me, that's kind of it's just silly. I mean, it's silly because it's, we don't it's, understand that. It's it's an asshole move to put this th- that <clears throat> kind of stuff in yeah. a bill that that's that that's that Carl Rove shit. It's it's, it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, car. Yeah, if you know, if you're familiar with Car Rove, you know that's the same thing. That's that's bullshit. Same thing with uh, I forgot Rogers' last name. They, they saw those, you no know, bullshit politics, and we, we I think we kind of touched on it last time. It's like, okay, well, if you if you're doing dirty politics, you're gonna try to run clean as you can. But at some point, that's just gonna you catch gotta, up to you. You I mean, gotta all, like get your hands dirty too. Yeah, yeah. I you, mean, you can't grow. You can't grow flowers and, and, without and, getting dirty. And think about there. people that coming from our generation that would try to, you know, hell. You better clear out your Facebook and Twitter and Instagram history ASAP. You know and that's even too late. You can't even do that. Like, have you? I, I thought I erased everything, and I'm seeing all these like, oh, five years ago. You, I'm like, damn, can't, can't yeah, get rid of this no, Facebook. Now Facebook, it, Facebook holds all of that. Yeah, it's all there. It's you know, like there. you ever see those little statuses that you might have said, you know, five years ago? You just got to cringe as like. Ugh. I remember one time I said, uh, I said uh, Asians are all racist. I remember I said that I was like drunk or something last time. I remember, but but I and I didn't you know of course I didn't mean it like that. But I was <laughs> I leaving. I was leaving. Uh, what's that spot on? Um, it's on uh, Kirby. Uh, you know you shoot it all the time. It's like Lumen. Yeah, I think it is Lumen. Okay. Yeah, but it had. I think it was like an Asian and Spanish night, and just like I could just feel it, like like there was none of us in there. Right, but I felt like the just the energy, just the and, and I'm familiar very I'm very familiar with racial energy. I grew up in it. Right, and I remember just getting it, you know, just like you know, just trying to do your normal thing, trying you know, talk to talk to girls, and it, and you really would feel it then. And I was oh, like, yeah. damn, I was like, some racist motherfuckers, yeah. <laughs> and I remember all, but all the all the Asian people I knew was like, yo, what the fuck? And I was like, damn, well, I w- I wouldn't even talk my job. I was talking about the mother, I was talking about the Asian motherfuckers in there. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you can't it, do that. Yeah. But I, but I put it on Facebook. So if, when I run for president, that's gonna come up. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I don't think Bro, I deleted it. I can only imagine all the shit that would ever come up from the shit that I say. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, now I have this thing where I will ask random questions and my fucking comments will light. When the it's fuck a question, up. you're always good because it's just like, oh, I was just curious. Yeah, that's easy to cover up. But when you say, oh, I think all Asians are racist, that's some fucked up shit to say, especially when you. Well, I, mean, I, and I, I dated, know, I dated I, an Asian girl. Like, one, like I have not. Yeah. I have not dated an Asian. Yeah. You never dated Asian. Yeah. Curious, but. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't put them over black women, but Asian women are. It's difficult to dang. get me to put another race over black women. Yeah, but 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 I say this: Asian women are some bad motherfuckers. Yeah, especially when they I, got I, us I, mixed like, in. Like you, for me, it's black women. I, I, well, I'm not even gonna do this. I'm not doing that. I'm not well, doing ranking that. them. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, rank I'm them. not doing that. I'm I let. That. I, well, I, well, reason why I say that because I let women just, just no black women at the top of my list, and I'm not going right. down the list. I'm yeah, yeah. not doing that. Uh, you, well, you. Sh- I wouldn't like just say all oh, just only black women. No, no. I, like just, at the, like at the top of my list, like if if you yeah, put top of your list, but you said you're not going down. You mean you're not going down it just on the podcast? Yeah, like I'm, I'm not. I'm not going down the list of saying you know. Why, 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 why not go? Don't one. don't go down the list. Go across your list. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, no, not doing it. Not doing mm-hmm. it. Well, I will. Not doing it. I will, Do since it. you're scared, right? No, no, just not doing it. So I'll start at the top. Black women first. Mm-hmm. Then we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Spanish. So that could be like you know your your Puerto Rican, Dominican, mm-hmm. Cubanos, your Mexicans. Yeah, Latin women. Latin women, uh, uh, extremely sexy. Holy um, but everything else mixed with black, like your your. Korean and Puerto Rican, like you're black and Puerto Rican, mm-hmm. you're black and Dominican. Well, Dominicans are pretty Isn't much that black. Isn't that what that, that B- is? Black and no, I think they were. I think Boricua is. I don't know, but it's like Boricua, Morena. So they're splitting it. I don't think it's like a like a half and half. I think there's whatever they're saying. Boricua is like one is black and one is Spanish. Uh-huh. But I think um, and if if and. Apologies, I, I don't know the difference. I don't speak Spanish, but I do know that, that they're saying like, you know, black, and they're trying to. That that was like a, you know, that was what like. Song, a, what song is that? That, that was. was that, that was. Uh, I'm not a. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. That is. Yeah, that was. That was, that was uh, Joe, uh, Joe and Joe. Joe, Joe and no, no sorry, pun, Joe and Pun. pun. Uh, Although Joe, and, Joe was in that video. Was he in it? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Hold on. Do we have time to Google it? Nah, I ain't build equal one there. What, what are you doing? Yeah, Troy's having a good time. I love when Troy is here, though. But anyway, <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Uh, I would say, I would say, black women, then Latin women, then Asian women. Indian. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Black women is that? Ooh, that counts Africa. You, that you, no. you Indian women do have. Wait, some wait, wait. Slippers. Go back. Black women counts African women, like the continent of Africa, yeah, like because yeah. like East and West Africa, Eritrean, Ethiopian, yeah, North Africa. Uh, uh, this the whole continent. Egyptian. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about I don't know about mother, Ethiopian. Yes, uh, Eritrean. Yes, uh, Madagascar. Shout out Madagascar. Uh, let's see, um, Cameroon. We're going to the we're going to the west. We go Cameroon. We go, and of course, even Nigeria. No Shout east, out to Shade. I know more East African. Uh, you talk. You would be talking about like the the, the Tanzanian. That's Eritrean, uh, Ethiopian. Yes, e- kind of Ethiopian. Kinda I, north. I thought Ethiopia was was kind of north, but I don't I know. Was, yeah, I think you're right because because Eritrean and Ethiopian, and then uh, um, Eritrean is another island. Like I'm not, I'm not thinking though. Man, Eritrean. But anyway, I think black just black women, right? <laughs> but but when you talk about the continent of face that Troy has on, but when you talk about the continent of Africa too, like they a lot of times you, know, you could find someone that's like Guinea and Lebanese, and they they won't even look like a traditional black woman to you. Mm-hmm. Africa is just but anyway. So we'll say black women. That's Africa. Then I go to Latin. Then I go to I go to Asian. Then I go to Indian, Middle Eastern, mm-hmm. and then I want to go. Who am I forgetting? No, no, we're good. They, 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 no, white people, they're, they're awesome also. They're there. But they're going to be. They're just. They're going to be. No, no, no. I'm, I don't wave your hand like it's whack. I'm just, no, no, no. I'm not waving it okay. like they're whack, but they're there, but it's like. It's it's going to be. It's, yeah. if, you're, if you're talking preference, yeah. I have a preference before I get there. Not saying yeah. that they don't have some beautiful women. Because there are some white, beautiful white, white, There's some beautiful white women There are some beautiful white women But I would go I would go 
black. But if you stick me, if you stuck me in a room, and there's a woman of every race in there, more than likely I'm going to gravitate African descent, and, and especially well, especially African descent, or at least Af- you know, at least black American black culture. Mm-hmm. I've, uh, I've 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 met women that have been like they've been you know they've been Asian or they've been. Uh, but they, their culture was black, and that's sexy. Yeah, like the the hip hop. No, culture. no, black isn't ratchet. There are ratchet people within black culture, but uh, ratchet isn't necessarily eternal for me. But it, it depends. It but depends yeah, no, it does. Ratchet. That's why we were talking earlier. Like, let them surprise you, because sometimes you can meet that ratchet motherfucker and be like, oh, okay, all right, yeah, I do like this hood. I do like this hood rat. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit, I like do to me, like this it's, little hood rat, because it's, it's something very, very familiar <laughs> yeah. about it. You know, it's like, yeah, if if that's the, I'm not going to say I grew up around hood rats, but and the hood rat just sounds like a derogatory term. It just sounds like rodents, like a rodent infestation. <laughs> I didn't grow up around hood rats. I actually had a a nice but, upbringing, but <laughs> <laughs> indeed, and all these master splinters. This guy, but um, <laughs> there's some master splinters out there. Yeah, that's if you but, mess with the wrong wood. Ooh. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Ah, they just put ah no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put a pause on that one. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. How do we get into this conversation? Women are beautiful. Bottom line. Yeah. In general, yeah. In general, yeah. That, but that so, sounds like we like gassing them, and this is kind of weird. I mean, no, like like we we just said, you have some of those master splinters in those. In, yeah, in yeah. Them, but very true. You know, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it's a preference. You know, you like what you like. Keep moving. Yeah, but you know what? That's good. that makes a better point. What were we talking about though? I, that's what I was trying to get. Wish we could. Yeah, I, I know we were talking about Hillary. Yeah, uh, we went. How did we get on that? How did we get on that, Troy? We forgot to. Yeah, we, we, were, we were just talking. Yeah. Anyways, um, some good drinks. We had some good drinks. We were talking about just exclusively. I was talking about. I, was talking about, I had experience with it. With that. Well, uh, she was Puerto Rican be- and Asian. Before you went She's to Asia, before the point that the point that we were getting to was made before you had said something about an Asian woman. What she say? There, there was something that you said prior to. I heard what you said. What did she say? Hillary. Hillary. Yeah, but but how? Hillary, fine too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So she got a little black. No, she likes hot sauce. Wait, wait, am I tripping? She likes hot sauce now. So she's black, right? No. Oh, okay. No. I'm tripping. Sorry about that. No, she still calls us super predators. She don't. No, nah, they apologize for that. You still say on that. on 13th so it doesn't even matter it's bullshit it's over with okay guys bullshit. no one's locked up they they got everyone out of jail <laughs> <laughs> so but my, my, we were talking about that before i think uh hunnett was on the show and i was talking about that i was like i was like you guys think that hillary and bill came up with that shit what Char- no, and, and, and if you even if you watch uh 13th charlie Rangel was like yeah we was it was it was a lot of motherfuckers that was like, look, we need to clean up these neighborhoods. There's crack all over the place, right? Mm-hmm. Even though it didn't come from us, but they were like, black people were serving it. We need to clean up this shit. Yeah, yeah. It was, I'm not, so I'm not saying it was that black people that went to. I know it was black people that went to Clinton. It was like, yo, this is what we need to do, man. Mm-hmm. That super predator. I don't know where it came from, but whoever came up with it ain't coming it, out saying that they came up with it. Yeah, of course. And I'm I'm under the impression is probably probably one of us. We do that a lot, and I don't know why we act like we don't be doing dumb shit like that. Well, shit, because it, it and it may not back. have been dumb at the time. It comes we, back like nobody wants to be called an Uncle Tom, and that's you know, and yes, yeah, Ch- Ch- what I what I like I said, Charlie Rangers was like, look, man, I was the nigga, I would I would the one that shit that I didn't think because I didn't know. I just said he was he, he was open about it. Watch Thirteenth again. He was, he was he was there, but a lot of people they were like, ah, why the fuck that Hillary and Bill? I'm like, no, I, they 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 the ones they able to execute it, but they were executing because they thought that's what. That's 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 how they get the black vote. They were trying to get the black vote. Mm-hmm. They were trying to act, act. You know, you feel me? But it's it's very different for somebody that's not. Hey, fix of that, the Mike. What the fuck I'm, are you I'm, doing? I'm fixing it. Okay. I'm fixing it. Okay. 
I'm standing up now, and I want it just to be. All I hear is and and, and, and implosives and shit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you did that very very well. I'm a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with that microphone. There it is. How you doing? Yeah, but now, um, now, I, I I was saying I think that there was this the. There's a nigga in there somewhere that was that was giving up that super predator shit. Well, I mean, because if you if you think about the environment that you know we were coming up in, it's mm-hmm. like yeah, like you don't want your kids growing up around the the dope dealer that's you know that's going to inevitably influence them. White people and black people are like right yeah. now. Of, of course, of course, like I said, the what sucks is like the 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 penalty and what will put us away for you know you know crazy. You know, um, just uh, just the amount of time, and it wasn't. You know, I'm talking where I probably shouldn't have been drinking, <laughs> but <laughs> I just I guess dis- disproportionate. I guess is not what I was looking for. You Dispro- you're drinking a Topo Chico. Bro. Now I am trying to wash out all that other poison, but I think <laughs> disproportionate is what I was looking for you in terms. Down and, too fast, let bro. me get it out now that I found it. Pause. Disproportion. I know, right? Disproportion. I think is the word I was looking for in terms of. You know, white crimes versus black crimes and I think that that's what stung and that's what really kind of tore up a lot of our, our communities mm-hmm. uh, which is still everlasting like the battery everlasting not a battery is it damn it, it's not <laughs> everlasting no everlasting is a brand it is a brand but it's not a battery but everlasting I'll say everlasting like the brand thank you everlast yeah yeah <laughs> you ever last this long <laughs> sorry um but yeah, I think that those are things that that that, that killed the community. But I think uh, just putting the blame, the sole blame on a on a president. Like I said, that's, this is my point. I don't think it always comes from the president. It comes from so much way earlier. Like, I don't know what Charlie Charlie Rangel was like a senator or something like that. And I, I don't know, but local politics is vicious, man. Yeah, it is. I mean, and that's something that we because, can really control because you got people that are literally trying to climb up this ladder, and you're close to them, so it's mm-hmm. easy to find out. The things that you're about. I think right now we t- we still talking that shit. I think, like I said, we got an episode where we connect these motherfucking dots. Yeah. Who is who? What is what? Who we need to talk to? Yeah, that's going to take that journalistic research, brother. I think uh, it ain't going to take. It don't take journalistic research. Just fucking Google that shit. I've googled it's it. I've, journalistic I've research. Up. That's not journalistic. That's anybody can do that. But journalists have to do that. That makes it too. That makes it too fancy. Because <laughs> liter- literally, you can be an eighth grader and go, "Who is my this?" and just Google it. Well, yeah, you know, but if, when I say journalistic, but actually to talk about it, you know, yeah, you, right. You can, I, okay, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, but I don't think you have to talk about. It. I think you just got to look and go. I need, I need. Well, to email I mean, if, him. You, if you're doing it for self knowledge, that's one thing. You're not. There's no journalism in, involved in that. You're just mm-hmm. learning it. Yeah. So when you go talk about it, we'll, we'll argue. We're arguing semantics right now, but I guess the whole point is like, hey, look, we can make a difference. You don't have to have a podcast. You, you brought up have... the you brought up the point that I wanted to come on What's the uh, on. And, and wow, come on. Okay, cool. So because before I came here, I was like, man, we we need something to talk about. Okay, um, and it was literally. Pause. Okay, we're gonna come right back. No, 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 just pause. No, we're coming back. No, we're coming back. You, you you feel a little better? I I good. I'm good now. You bolted. I put that what? Uh, Michael yeah, Bolton. I did. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. I Anyways, did. okay. So before you had left, I was um, you brought up a point. See how, as, see how you stole my joke to go on air like it was his shit. <laughs> I, see, I did be that. Doing, see how I be doing I that? Did that. This motherfucker. Good. Okay. They didn't know that. Why'd you have to put that out there? Just okay. like motherfucking Eric Lede. <laughs> stealing <laughs> joke, <laughs> jokes, stealing motherfuckers, yo. <laughs> yo, Eric Lede. And my boy Mike be the most co- most Facebook post stealing motherfuckers copy, on planet Earth, dog. Copy pasting motherfuckers. Go ahead, go ahead, dog. Okay, so but, but back to the point. Um, before we had uh, went off air, we had um, you were speaking about can we make a difference? And one of the problems I had in this election process was so many people that didn't vote because they felt as though the voting process wouldn't help make a difference. So. Here is my my. That's not all the way untrue. 
It's not all the way untrue, but it's not all the way true. True. It's 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 a middle. Yeah, you can go vote, but it's not going to do anything locally for you. You know, unless it's local voting. You know, yada yada. yada. But nevertheless, yeah. at the, to those people that did not vote, that said, those people are not going to make a difference. What is the the disconnect from them getting involved themselves and trying to make that difference? Yeah, but there's a lot of people that just vote and aren't involved. It's the same thing. And Mal- Malcolm. Well, no, no, uh, and ahead. and yes, there's a lot of people that that they they'll sit there, watch, and see what they agree with, what they don't agree with, and vote for you know what they think. They yeah, but agree they're just they're just take, but they're just taking like one or two, maybe even three. Let's say they're taking five things they agree with, but there's like twenty things that they don't even know about. There's like forty things they don't even know about. Yeah, I mean, like, like so, you, your gen, your general voter, like for me, right, right. Majority of the time, I don't know a lot of what they're speaking about. I just right. know, you know, you're like, oh, taxes. Yeah, we don't want those. Yeah. Cool, voting for him, and that's that's or 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 just whatever whatever it is that I'm agreeing mm-hmm. with, right? You but, know, whether it's a pro choice, pro life mm-hmm. kind of deal, or you know, whatever it is. But that's what, that's what I'm saying. You you could literally agree with Tommy Lauren because she's pro choice, and you're like, but, yeah, I agree with her. And then you hear all this other shit. You're like, God damn, no, this no, bitch but, but is that's crazy. But, but that's just one. That's just one particular deal about it. You know, like like I agreed with some of the Republicans. You know, before course, they got. Right. Not saying that I would have all out voted for now had they had gone against Hillary, I would have really been paying attention. As, as you as you should, that's good that you can find things in a conservative. Like, oh, I, I do agree that or independent like, like or my my favorite Republican was Ron Paul. Okay, you know, like, and I haven't seen nobody like him since. Right, Rand Paul. What about Rand Paul? It was Ron Paul. <laughs> Rand Paul's a son. But anyway, go ahead. I'm just, I'm fucking with you. But Rand Paul is a son though. This is gonna bring me back to the uh, to the Memorial Day party. Why are you always busting my balls on shit, man? Because you don't because you don't bust balls back. No, I don't. That sounds gay. It does. But so, but but what I was go, but what I was gonna say though <laughs> is uh, <laughs> well what I was gonna say though we were talking about uh, making a difference. Oh, I was talk- I-, I wanted to reference uh, the Ballad of the Bullet, which is Malcolm X's one of his speeches, right? Mm-hmm. And one of the things that I interpreted out, a lot of people don't don't address. He talks about seeing the whites of their eyes, like like back in the day, uh, you know, traditionally when they when they had muskets, and if you if you took a shot, it took you probably at least another 10, 15 minutes to load your gun, right? You had to get the gunpowder, you had to do it in, stuff it in, get the pellet, blah blah blah, all that kind of. It wasn't quick. No, I won't say twenty minutes, but it was a long time to get another shot off. You know what I'm saying? So the the uh, the phrase, the key phrase then was sh- wait till you see the whites of their eyes, right? And that was one of the things that he referenced in that in the ballot or the bullet speech. Do you see the whites of the eyes? And I and I took that as to mean, wait till you wait till your target's close to where you're not wasting your bullet. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So let me when you finish texting. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, no, no, really I'm, 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 I'm looking it up. As you, as ballot you. or the bullet. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So so my I I took it to say like, hey, just don't just just don't be firing your shots because these, these, it's an important. It's an important shot because I want to be able to. Take. I want to be able to interject on the conversation. So right. That's why I'm it's it's an important shot that you need to take, and I think that when you're when you're voting, you you need to understand. You need to see the whites of the eyes, meaning you need to understand a little bit more before you go. Okay, cool. I'm going to use this bullet, this ballot, so mm-hmm. to speak, and that's that's kind of what I wanted to say. And um, right now we don't do that. We just kind of vote. It's a two party system, mm-hmm. so it's fifty fifty, and you go, oh, I'm this, and then someone else goes, oh, I'm that, and that's how you just vote. Yep. You, you, you vote for you vote for whoever to come out of the AFC, and you vote in this per, this side votes whoever comes out of the NFC, and then there's a Super Bowl, mm-hmm. and you hope they win, and then you cry the four four maybe even eight years that they're in office, and it's just back and forth, and it's just silly. It's just like it's just getting ridiculous. And at, and and that's that's part of the problem, and that's why when I say I want Donald Trump to be a success, I don't. Does it doesn't it doesn't matter? It doesn't it doesn't mean I'm backing him. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean you know or the the quote unquote Donald Trump's not my president kind of kind of shit. For him to be a success, you have to do everything that he says. It has so, to do everything but, but, against but, that he says. But you also have to understand success to to me may be a different success to what somebody else that actually voted for him sees. To me, right, like, build, like being, building a wall and and, yeah, and I mean, Muslim bans and all that shit. For him to be so, a success so, at the end, at the end of his four year run, Lord willing, 
It's only four years or it's shorter. But 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 I'm I'm, I'm kind of having a feeling he may resign. But nevertheless, uh, I keep I have that he's not going to resign. But my thing is Nixon did it. He is. <laughs> unless, unless there's something, unless there's something that's like, okay, I need to resign so that we don't it can stay can stop investigating because I'm otherwise I'm gonna be in the bottom of a jail. Then then I could see that. But if not, yeah. he ain't going nowhere. But going to your point. But go ahead. Uh, go going to your point. I feel that. Uh, you know, people just make up their mind way before they did. Just like I said, there's, there's looking down the side of a, a, a curtain. They're not listening to, uh, they're not listening to 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 someone's. I don't know. Po- they're not listening to politics. They're just looking like what side is he on? Uh, what, what color tie is he wearing? Yeah. And they kind of just vote that way. Okay, he's the one that's supposed to win it, and I vote for him. And I think that's kind of silly. Yeah, that that's the dumbest. I, I don't want to say that's the dumbest way. It is the dumbest way of voting. Um, because it's, it's just set. Up, it's just set up for that. It doesn't even. It doesn't. You know what? It doesn't even matter if you don't want to vote that way. Yeah. You have to vote that way. It's silly. So so basically, people were voting Hillary only because they thought she would be a better fit to beat Donald. Than Bernie, even though Bernie was a better candidate, and that's what right. I'm saying. It's, it's so silly, and I said that, that's what I'm saying. That the money is fucking things up, and yeah. and and yeah. and we remember we had this conversation. It's like, look, they have to they have to figure out some way to be able to get. Well, they got to get across the country. Well, this is for the country. The country should pay for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, come out of taxes, whatever. We we pay for dumber shit than this. We vote for a president. Mm-hmm. They should have like a like a NCAA tournament that funds the top. Whatever I, mean, I don't know who I don't I don't even know how to figure this out all the way. This is not even a a thought through. Uh, yeah, but, but I get I get what you're saying. Yeah, like at the end, like at the end of a president's run, whatever part of that salary should be able to fund the next person coming in. Yeah, or well, and, not the next person, well, or, 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 or the, or the next of. candidates because yes, candidates. The next candidates, right? You know, like hey, we're gonna have five people on this side. We're gonna mm-hmm. have five people on this side. Mm-hmm. What I'm paying for is going to be able to get them through right. their primaries, and then get them through. Right, and I guess we just have to figure out what what qualifies part. them to be those five for this, that, and third. And, and I and think I about. think at this point we need to start adding some some sti- stipulations to to this. I cannot be Joe Schmo off the street and say, "Hey, I want to be president. Vote for me, 2020." And next thing you know, you see me on TV lined up against. You know, um, Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, and you know all these people right. that I, are well more qualified for the right, position. Right, right, Def- definitely. There's, there's got to be. There, there should. There should be. I mean, if I if I'm trying to get certain jobs, I got to have certain schooling or certain mm-hmm. this or that experience. Then I think if you're running for president, yeah, you should have. You shouldn't just be a, you know, someone who just had a couple of businesses and think you can run like, the country. This is kind of silly. You know, uh, I mean, what. With folks like Kanye West, especially, or, even, especially the, or running, even The Rock, talking about they want to be president, I, I have an issue with that. I, I do too, but especially running a business that that's yours, mm-hmm. it's different running a business. Like you know, if you you look at the CEO of American Express, that's not the the CEO's business. That's American Express's business that you have to understand understand the nuance of that business and run it. Right. When it goes down, when it goes up, you have to understand how to run it. Mm-hmm. When it's your business and you're your own boss. And you go okay. This is failing. Let's just go bankrupt, get some money back, and then we'll put it somewhere else. That's not that's not really qualifying you to run right, the country, right? You 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 can't declare America bankrupt, you know, right? Um, because right. well, yes, you can. Well, yeah, you can, but <laughs> you got to think about how many times. people are suffering from it. Well, look at just look at the uh, just look at the whole uh, yeah that they, they qualify a lot of things bankrupt, and, you know. And, but but think about how many people suffered during that time period. The Great Depression. How many people suffered mm, well, during look at, that well, time? Look at, well, if you look at 08, the people that suffered, it wasn't like the Great Depression. No, 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 no. no, no. The, great, oh, okay. the, the recession, the Great Depression, two completely different things. Yeah, absolutely. Money wasn't being spent either way. Mm, it was being spent. It, it was, no, <laughs> m- m- money was not being gained. How about that? Okay, okay, I'm with you. Okay, money was not being gained, so it could not be spent until those bailouts started to, to mm-hmm. you know, help those, you know, the economy out and then mm-hmm. from there we started to flourish again mm-hmm. you know there's a lot of people happy with trump right now because uh the stock market is up like 13 <laughs> percent. i don't know how i couldn't i couldn't even explain it i'm just looking at them like okay what's up 
I looked at my I looked at my four I looked at my four hundred one k. I'm just talking about the stock market in general, the Nasdaq general. and all that. Yeah, it's, it's just, just up thirteen percent. That's thirteen percent in general. But there's a lot of things like if you had money in, mm -hmm. you'd be really happy right now. What would it take for somebody who's running independently to be able to get them a four hundred one k? Do you know? Running independently, you mean? like for uh, um, an entrepreneur that that doesn't get. I mean, just you, well, you literally just just starting four hundred one k. You get with like a, like a Fidelity or something like that. You mm -hmm. get a four hundred one k. Just you just put money into it now the thing is when you're with a certain company sometimes they they have good things like well they'll match the amount that you put in you put right. in like if you're putting in like you know uh whatever it is they're, they're matching like six percent of whatever you're putting in mm -hmm. and over time especially when you invested that money is yours in like three three four years or something like that right so that could be a, a great thing and you know you i know, think that, you know for folks that are just sitting on money have no idea what to do with it i think that would be something that they should start considering what's that just investing in different businesses in that kind of set um i think or they stocks. do they, they do already Rather. people that are sitting on money people that sit, people are sitting on money well, well when i said when i say that I'm, I'm talking about the the not the not the 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 guy that that has like thousands of dollars stashed in his shoe box kind of mm -hmm. you know Start kind of changing the perception of well, yeah. I think I think it's, it's a lot of people playing like fantasy football. I look at stock the stock market just like fantasy football. You gotta mm -hmm. understand, uh, you know the the understanding understanding landscape, understand trends, understand understand the history, yep. so you can understand maybe a possible trend that's coming. Mm -hmm. Understand like, hey, look, when the economy's down, this goes up. Yep. You know, when the economy is up, you know, maybe you want to shift your money here because. Like they're already predicting a, a, a you know a bubble burst because it has know, whatever in whatever it may be yeah you know? because since oh nine or since oh eight oh nine the economy has been all you no know, uphill you know it's yeah. been all positive so and and typically it doesn't stay like that they said every like you know anywhere from six to eight years it's going to be it's going to take a drop right so there, there's going to be a drop so there, there, there's people that are banking on that literally they're shifting their money because what like was, hey it should what be was a that movie um. The movie with Christian Bale where he was playing the uh, super mathematician. Oh uh, yeah, I know that had everybody had like uh, pretty much every star. Yeah, yeah. That, what was it? Uh, uh, the big, the, the big. It was bank. No, no, big theory. The big. I know. I know what you're talking about. I, yeah. I, I have it on my computer. I watched that a few times. It's awesome. Yeah, um, I need to get that. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's a good film. But um, you know, but yeah, well, I, guess, I guess I guess you see where you're going because they were like looking at oh hey this is about to go bad. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they were looking at that the the, the housing bubble, right? The real yeah. estate bubble, and yeah. they were like, oh, like people were banking on the housing. Well, market. no one knew it was going to do that, but there was a couple of guys that looked and said, the way this is trending and what they're doing, there's mm -hmm. no way this can sustain. Mm -hmm. This is going to go here, and they and there was one dude who bet on it and got other more got more people. You're right, right, right. So yeah, and, and he didn't just bet. They weren't trying to change. They weren't trying to change, yeah, trying to change it. Yeah, they weren't trying to change it. Tons. Yeah, Millions. right. To absurd amounts of people were laughing and giving him money. So well, you my, know they were ready to kill him because they were like, "You're taking my money and you're doing what with it?" No, 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 no. You're talking about that. The, that's the group that he got with. But when he was going to other people and was like, "Hey, I, I will pay you X amount for this," they were almost giggling about it. Yeah. Of course, this is a yeah, reenactment. Because, we, we yeah, saw. Be, because it was, it was, yeah. it was. I can't remember what kind of bond it was. Yeah. But it was, it was. Ah, geez, I gotta watch this movie again. Man, yeah. I'm gonna watch it when I get home. Gotcha. But but and again, just going with what you're saying, just just in in theory. But I there mean, is it's it, no one was trying to fix it. They were just like betting on it. It just yeah, taking and, and letting it happen because they were going to make a ton of money. Exactly. And and yep. and that is the problem with when you get to that level. When mm -hmm. when that kind of stuff is going on. Yeah. That's the problem with with us. Anything I don't politics. want to say with us. Look, yeah. at, look at New Orleans. I mean, you talk to we we've had people in here talk about yeah. New Orleans and, and and how that how that whole situation went in the housing market and 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 I think that Trump is that kind of guy. Yeah, it's all about it's all he, about he's how, the kind of guy that can says, I profit? Yeah, regardless of what's going on, can I will I profit? Exactly. Th that's that's good business. When they ask him, like you know, with the whole the, the the bankruptcy and all that, he's like, that's just good business. Mm -hmm. And no matter what, you know, you know the, the contracts he couldn't pay that's out. That's a dangerous game to play when you're banking on, because at the end of the day, people are going to end up suffering while you end up, you know, profiting. Yeah, I mean, in, in layman's terms, that's a bad game to play. Right, it's like layman's terms. It's like I'm voting on, you know, I'm rooting for Golden State to. Win. I'm betting on Golden State to win, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm hoping LeBron gets hurt. That's some fucked up shit in my head. 
Like, oh, I hope he breaks his leg so I can get this money. It's just like. It's fucking, it's just yeah. fucking sick way to think. Yeah, in my, in my personal opinion. Yeah, I mean, they, they pre, you people. pretty much gave it a perfect analogy yeah. for it. You know, that's the kind of game that they're playing. Like, yeah. hey, if in this scenario LeBron breaks his legs mm-hmm. and can never play again, right? Yeah, word. I'll get this bullshit money. Right. And then I worry about him not playing. You know what I'm saying? So it's the bigger picture that we're looking at, though. Yeah, man. But yeah, yeah man. man. This, yo, this is a. Um, I think this is a good. I think this is a good show, man. I'm glad you, to see you again, man. You took the words out of my mouth. I was. I was about to say that same shit. It was a great uh, Memorial Weekend wrap. Yeah. Wrap up, man. Man, let's let's. How was your Memorial Weekend? Before we close out. Well, I will say this, man. I I had. I always say to most. And don't say anything yet, because I don't want you to get in trouble. So I know to most. Uh, uh, you know, you know, any kind of military active or even veterans, I always say, you know, happy Memorial Day. I'm, I'm no more on Instagram, and I realize I'm wrong. And they're like, Memorial Day is for the falling soldiers. I hate when people tell me, and I'm like, oh yeah, you hate that shit. And I'm like, no, no, well, fuck you then. <laughs> How you gonna be mad? How you gonna be mad that I'm saying thank you for your service? Yeah, okay, maybe I misunderstood. It's a memorial. That does make sense. It is yeah. for the the past of fallen. How about you say how about you say, no, thank you. You know, this holiday is really for the fallen. Mm-hmm. But I, I appreciate you saying thank you for your service. And I'll get it. I hate when people yeah, that's bullshit. I'm like, just okay, just cause you know that yeah. that's this is another this is people's ignorance. I mean that, that that's just people hearing certain things and then they take that same perception along with them. Right. Right. You now know? we call that group thing. Yeah. Yeah. They think you think you it's know. something cool to say because you know because yeah. you can correct me. It's it's not conversate, it's converse. Like, ah, okay, oh, okay, awesome. All right, you're still not smart. <laughs> I don't think you're smarter than me because you corrected me on converse and not, you know, mm-hmm. conversate. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Everyone else knows what I understands mm-hmm. what I mean. That's what words are for to communicate. And yeah. I, I communicate. Everybody understands what I'm saying. You shut the fuck up. Yeah. We'll it, conversate it, it, about the that smart later. Person would say, "Hey, actually, Memorial Day is for X, Y, and Z." But yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. You know. And I get and, it. And, oh, and okay, now, cool. And now you're educated on what Memorial Day That's means. It. I can I can educate and, somebody now. Exactly. Yeah. Versus me being a dick, and now you got this experience exactly. of exactly. Well, I found out Memorial Day what Memorial Day really right. is, but, but now, now I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. Yeah, now. exactly. Exactly. I, I, which is a lie, but I'm just saying, like right, that's right. just like I can't. So you're mad at me saying thank you for your service? I, I mean, I say that anytime when when that was your initial reason for saying that. Yeah. You know, and then they say no. Nah. Anyways, but nevertheless, I, mean, I didn't want to thank you anyway because I know I know you didn't even you what, didn't even do no tours. One of the best things I've heard was do the things that the fallen ha- are not able to do because yeah. they gave their life for you. Absolutely. Meaning, if you can go out celebrate and have a good time with your family, mm-hmm. do that because they can't. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of like the same reason why we would pour out alcohol. Mm-hmm. You know, hey. This would have been a sip that he would have had, right. you know, yada, yada, yada. Right. Um, and I'm going to have one for him because he can't, mm-hmm. you know, it's the same kind of thing. So whether we're partying, whether we're out with family, whether we're out barbecuing, you know, whatever it is that we're doing, we, we're celebrating those moments because there are those that are serving whom can't. Mm-hmm. And we are able to because of their service. Right. Now, while my personal political beliefs, I don't too much care for you know reasons why they're out there yeah but they're there and i yeah. appreciate them hey. at least stepping forward and taking absolutely. that absolutely in the way i look at it i'm not really trying to beef with military people but i know absolutely if, not. If, I, I, if i went to a, a, a wall of memorial uh a service it was mm-hmm. a wall and it was etched out all these you know passed away uh you know warriors you know uh, troops and military uh personnel that were fighting for us mm-hmm. and there were other military people up there you know, uh, I would still say thank you to them too, yeah. because you, you may not have. I don't have to, you don't have to die for me to say thank you. And I know exactly. it's on that day. It's, it is for them, but we all in the same place, recognizing this wall of all the fallen soldiers. Mm-hmm. You're there too. I'm really going to thank you because I didn't put myself in that in right. that in our harm's way. You were there. You probably next to him and all kinds of stuff. Say, so, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say thank you to you too. Don't don't try to don't try to. Don't try to play me. Don't Don't try to play me for saying thank you. I know know what it's for. I know what memorial means. Don't alienate me because I didn't know. Yeah. You know. Anyway, that's just a that's just a that's a pointless fight. But that but that was a fight I had. uh, But yeah. Um. But yeah. So Memorial Weekend. What did you do uh, Saturday Sunday? Saturday Sunday, man. I just uh nothing, man. I just I I Netflix and edit. Netflix and edit. I was editing and then Netflix and it got got some stuff done. Got some sleep. 
uh, which uh, which prepared for for my busy Monday. Was yeah. it Monday? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was Monday. It was Monday. Monday. It went down Monday. And it got 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 me some sleep. I told you sleep is cumulative. Yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had this conversation earlier today. It is cumulative. Which so, is so, the reason so, why I had these glasses on. And I'm right, a, right, right, right. Typically on a Wednesday, I would be leaving or I would be headed towards uh, KPFT 90.1 FM. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I'm now back on that station. But nice. tonight, doing because of the fact that I need some sleep, right, right. I'm headed to this house. There you go. So, there you go. So, yeah, man. Um, Signing off, man. Where can they find you? Uh, of course, at Elliot Gidry, E W L I O T G U I D R Y. I'm going to say it a little bit slower in case you ain't understand me. At Elliot Gidry, E L L I O T G U I D R Y. Simple and plain, brother. Where can they find you at? Corey Terry on everything. C O R E I G H T E R R Y. Hit us up on the To Be Told podcast. I G. That's T O O B E T O L D P O D C A S T. That is a lot of motherfucking spelling. So I hope you uh, do something. Go find us. And matter of fact, just Share make it love. simple for yourself. Just mm-hmm. find us on iTunes, Google you Play, go. Podbean. Absolutely. Now you can also find us on YouTube. Absolutely. I'm now posting the video, uh, not videos, but mm-hmm. the podcast on YouTube. So there is not a reason for somebody not to be able to hear us. There you go. Boom. Like that. Maybe and we, we at. Gone. Excuse me. Ugh. Mm.